Well, hello there, Twin Flame community. It looks like we have a connection this week where one party recognizes the other and couldn't be more excited, whereas the other responds with a freeze then flight response. <laughs> Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome into the weekly Twin Flame Tarot reading. I'm going to dig into this and get a theme card for the past, present, and future of the connection that wants to come through today. If you're interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. For the past, play your hand. Number 39 reduces all the way back down to a three. So someone shot their shot. Okay. Current energy. Raw, raw, raw. Have you had enough of the dark side of life? So something ended so something could begin. Stepping into the light. Future. Death shall not take him. Once you thought was lost, is not. So you start with a three, end with a three. A new one in the in the middle. Something will in a new way live again. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use this deck for her. I'll use this deck for him. I'm grab a swig of water before we dive in. Hmm. Okay. As per usual, I will shuffle all the cards seal them all out and we will read it together like a map okay can you give me his energy for the past the player hand judgment justice card of libra hanged man ah show me his current energy with rah 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 ending. Four of cups. Knight of cups, okay. And the future, death shall not take him. Seven of coins, sun, Leo energy, seven of cups. Four of wands, they're on the bottom. Okay, let's get into hers. energy please oh okay five of pentacles sun leo energy six of wands hmm okay okay show me the current energy for her seven of pentacles six of pentacles Five of Wands. Got it. Okay. Show me the future for her. Death shall not take him. Show me. Page of Pentacles. King of Wands. Eight of Wands. Judgment on the bottom there for her. Okay. Got it. Okay. Let's read the map, shall we? Okay. So... When they originally met, there was that point of recognition. It does feel like recognition meant very something very different to either party. Okay. Like, one, it sparked happiness and excitement and eagerness and anticipation. The other one, it sparked, it sparked fear. Okay. It sparked fear. Um, got it. Okay. Um, for him, the it was like fight, flight, or freeze. He froze before he flew. Okay. She got to a point 
where it's because it's almost like there was a lot that was just not said to each other because to risk that vulnerability when it doesn't feel stable at all right no one wants to do that okay um it seems that the one victory she was going to get out of the situation was moving forward in another direction so why did he freeze He had somebody. Leo, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, for those of you keeping track, he had somebody. Can you tell me about this, Queen of Swords? Possible strong Scorpio energy? Definitely strong, both Scorpio, Scorpio, okay. This feminine that they chose really wanted to keep their hooks into this masculine because of <clears throat> because of lifestyle cash flow okay they could have either been married not been married anything like that but what this did was make him take the next step with her because they're they were already the pre-existing connection doesn't mean that they were right for each other but she was already there she had already laid some groundwork how does she feel about this masculine? See that snake and then the money? Mm -hmm. So the Empress left. Card of Taurus and Libra. This particular feminine, lovers, card of uh, Gemini with seven of wands, eight of wands. This particular um, feminine may have said something to the twin feminine, divine feminine, in order to rub it in her face that there's, there ain't no way that you're going to get to have him. Okay. And I feel like it happened, she communicated this by saying something dumb. Like she got to play so dumb and still bag someone like this kind of thing. Um, almost, I'm getting a really specific scenario. It's almost like, say, if he was your boss and she was the longtime girlfriend, she called you, the, the employee, to ask what the Wi-Fi password was for the house. It was something like she shouldn't have even interacted with you about or with her about. Okay. Um. But it was some sort of indirect way to communicate. See, it didn't take me much to bag this. And now it's mine. Kind of thing. I'm a huge fan of karma. If y'all haven't figured it out by now. Huge fan of karma. Okay. Show me what happened to the feminine. Where did she go? Where'd she, where'd she go off to? The path was illuminated, and so she went in that direction. Show me. She might have started her own business. Possibly a new job. Aquarius energy with a star. She went where she is welcomed and loved and challenged. Okay. Welcomed, loved, and challenged. Anything about how she feels about this karmic feminine? Feels very little. Oh, if anything, anger. So this feminine knows that this masculine still keeps an eye. Cancer, Scorpio energy. She views this karmic feminine as someone with immature toxic behavior. That it doesn't matter if it looks successful on the outside. Yeah. Show me just the king of cups. So this feminine is going to see the divine feminine rise to a level of recognition. It could be public. Sure. Leo energy for those of you keeping track. 
the path of manifestation is not to be trifled with. And if you're the divine feminine, I hate to tell you this, but it is coming up. Um, you're going to take the heartbreak from this situation and make something significant. So I don't know if you're an artist. I don't know if you're a writer, sculptor, painter, whatever. There's You're going to take lemons and make lemonade, but there's something where making whatever this is, even if it's something you keep to yourself, that's going to help transform you and fine tune your manifestation skills. Okay. Okay, current energy. So it looks like that that connection comes to an end as well. Show me what happened with the Ten of Swords with him and her. Because he's showing me disappointment for a Ten of Swords, so. Ah. He sees how choosing this connection blocked real love. Now he's got to start all over. Gemini energy. Now he's got to start all over. I'm hearing how much it's a pain in the ass to disconnect from all of that. There was a lesson in maturity in the process. And ego. And ego. Ego got in the way of a real thing with a real soul bond. That could have gone the distance. Yes. Show me what his Knight of Cups is up to. They're hurt and angry. Not sure what to do yet because they're so hurt and angry. He sees the feminine that he's with for what she really is. Double Scorpio again, Aquarius energy. Okay. Now her, the Divine Feminine, is hitting her stride and managing her challenges. Show me what this competition is, though. She may have had to do some shadow work about um, if she had a father wound. Pisces, Taurus energy. So wherever she went, where she was loved and accepted for a while, triggered, triggered this journey, this, this bit of her shadow work in the process. Okay. Um, it did kind of mess with some of her goals and potential at the time. Um, her, her plans. Thank you. Um, so this kind of threw a monkey wrench into things. Well, that's when shadow work pops up. It's never when it's convenient, right? But it's meant to come out into the light to put it away, to process and put it away. Show me the mother star, please. Yeah, this is this is going to give her a firm foundation of self where she's going to feel more motivated to take bigger risks because there's one about career or travel that's coming through that's significant. Okay. Okay. In the future. Hmm. This masculine is at a point in his life wondering if this is really over. What option do I have to rebuild path back to each other? If I have to start over, I will. What are they thinking with the Seven of Cups? <clears throat> Why? Emperor, card of Aries. Moon, card of Pisces. Taurus and Libra. Oh, he sees her doing well with someone else. There's a king of wands over there. He sees her doing well with someone else. Sees the feminine power clearly, though. Empress with the moon. Like seeing the emperor with the sun. He's seeing the feminine clearly. Okay. 
this feminine is learning, the divine feminine is learning, you could have a soulmate after a twin flame. Okay. That it's not over. That this that just because this didn't work out up until now, that it's not over necessarily. Okay. Um this King of Wands is bringing the arrows of love really hard. Can you show me more about him, please? She's basically learning you could be happy with someone again. He's starting it off with, with some with some feelings. Say, hey, I've been keeping it to my secret for a while, but really feel connected with you. Is there a chance that we can take a shot at something real? Show me what she learns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Judgment, Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Knowing she needs to make a decision about this. Okay. It also comes with the universe like, okay, now it's time to wrap it up. What's your choice? Okay. And she shifts. Okay. She chooses harmony. Show me where the Eight of Wands takes her. There's that, there's that career in travel again motivated she's ready to go there might be an age gap there knight of wands king of wands uh death card of scorpio again this feminine is operating mostly by her intuition mostly by her intuition and it's serving her very very well okay she's stabilizing her own energy and the um, secret wish is to have a stable thing with someone else long term kind of thing um, but she doesn't know that that's entirely possible with this person yet it's something that comes that hits her after a little more communication okay so he's not moving because he sees another masculine taking up her space and time this masculine is shooting his shot Definitely shooting his shot. Let's look into something real quick. What's the karma that's going to hit this karmic connection for the masculine? They're going to get shafted by a new lover. Not that I wish that on anybody. I'm just reading it. Where something's going to happen, something's going to happen with them where they're going to, like, if they love, if they loved or cared for this masculine just for his money, for example. And then some, then she finally decides to love someone, the next person. That person is going to leave her, number one. Number two, it's going to put her in a state where she needs to save herself financially, whatever. Okay. Um, so that's going to start her particular journey. Ah, her ego death journey. Good luck with that. Virgo energy. Good luck with that. She knows she ruined this for herself. Okay. Okay. Anything else about the divine masculine before we move forward? He's learning, okay, he's learning how much um, power he had on the situation and actively withheld that cost him her. And now she's the queen of wands to someone's king of wands. Taurus energy with the hierophant. Okay. He's, he sees it. He sees it now. Okay. I am going to head over to the extended I'm going to go into her some more and we're going to see what happens with this King of Wands. And we'll see if the Divine Masculine pops up. We'll see what's going on with her current energy, near future, and final outcome of these connections. So if you are interested in any of that information, a lot of messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.